Hi guys, this is Skidflash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Blind, and it has been far too long, oh my goodness, but let's not dote on that, I am just ecstatic to be back into this murder investigation scene that is very, very tragic, but I'm also very happy because, oh my goodness, it's just been so long. While I've been gone, um, I've been, I've been, I'm doing some theorizing since I've had to re-edit these videos, you know. You, you have some time to think about some things you missed before. And my previous thought that maybe the murder secretly took place, like, you know, in that one room in the hospital, I think I had it backwards. I think that the killer, um, recorded herself with the dope, with, because there are two, there are two, there are two, um, dope bags that, from the, they, she got two dope bags. She put one over herself and stole the gown from, from Akane because she didn't have a gown and recorded herself appearing to be hung, turned off the footage, then he ran over there and then like, you know, you see Ibuki dead at the, at the music place. But really, she's probably been dead for a while because, you know, the, uh, the, um, the heater was turned on so you can't really tell her cause of death so she probably died before that however this mysterious person just recorded that to make it seem like they uh, died recently and then uh, somehow Hiyoko dies and I don't really have that part uh, <laughs> I don't have that part figured out yet but that's my uh, that's my thoughts right now and and the prime suspect in that situation would be um, uh, Mikon because because Mikon literally the moment she said, "Oh, I'm gonna go up. We can rest in the uh, staff room," is when we got the is when we got the mysterious Skype call of death thing. So that's my uh, prime suspect right now. I really hope isn't the case because I you like Mikon. Mikon's cool. You gotta you gotta have lewd, <laughs> I hate to say it, but lewd fan service character. You gotta keep those people right. They're near and dear to the anime world. Um, but whatever. Let's actually progress with the game. And you might want to bring an extra pair of underwear. Haha. -ha. Um. Oh, so funny. Let's see what Fuihiko has to say. And uh, yeah, I <laughs> random random jump or whatever. Hey, Hajime, can you explain it to, it to me again? Please do, because I need a refresher as well. Because it's been so goddamn long. It was the same as when I found it with you guys. <laughs> Except Kazuru hasn't died yet. Ibuki's body was hanging. Oh, right, right. right. Ibuki's body was hanging from the baton lighting. However, there was no body discovery announcement made. That's why I went to get you guys. Um, we're about to go back to the music venue. You met up with Mikon and me. Yeah, except we were there was minus one. Um, Sionji wasn't there. Pretty sure you're gonna talk about that. And okay, and and this is the most important part. When you arrived in the motel, who else saw you besides Chiaki? Um, as I recall, Mikon, nope, did you hear his body was found? Okay, um, never mind. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Because I saw Shiaki, I also saw Gundam and Monomi. Um, so Kazuichi and Sonya didn't appear? Well, Hiyoko was killed between the time you saw Buki's body and when we broke down the door. <laughs> See, this is where, uh, this is where what you think is the proper time would actually like wreck you hard um so obviously those two are the most suspicious since they weren't with us that might be true but um let me just tell you my alibi too i trust you completely eye patch boy um when the morning monokuma woke up i went straight to the hospital i saw mikan panicking in front of the hospital i asked her what was going on she said ibuki disappeared well there you go <laughs> and while we were circling the island we came to the motel and saw you guys here um no, we went to the movie theater and that, se and that street full of machines to look for Ibuki, but we didn't see anyone. Um, it is unreasonable. We don't doubt you. The time that Mikon and I were on our own looking for Ibuki wasn't very long. In that short time, there was no way I could have killed Hiyoko and wrapped her around that pillar with duct tape. That is difficult. Um, but the fact is Hiyoko was killed and we did discover her body, so you gotta do things. Um... Wow, come on. We don't, we don't, but we don't even doubt Fuyuhiko. I completely trust him. Um, but we do have to inspect Hyoko's room because we have the key for that, I believe. And I think it should be the last thing we need to do before the trial starts up. And then, you know, as per Danganronpa regular um, customs, we'll <laughs> figure out we'll figure out the rest during the trial because that's how the best, best, most legit trials happen right you figure out all your facts <laughs> during the fact 
Um, that's how it is in Phoenix, right? At least. She only stayed there a few nights, so it doesn't really... <laughs> Imagine having, like, a lawyer like that. Like, don't worry, man. I'll figure it out as we go along. Uh, but whatever. She only stayed here a few nights, so it doesn't really feel like a room. But I feel a little conflicted. And random Sonia. How did when the door open? Why are you here? Why did we even need the key if you're in here? Why would you lock the door afterwards? But whatever. Uh-huh. Um, no, it's just... I'm starting to bleed. It might be my fault. What does that even mean? How... Before that, um, Pontro Monokuma. yip de doo we gain a level up. I don't think we even have enough skills to, like, warrant whatever level we are in coins. I don't know if, if that's, like, the only... I, I'm, I, I really want to believe you can buy more things at the shop later, but I don't know how you do that. But whatever. Um, the moment Hiyoko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She was afraid of the despair disease. Okay. Um, what else did she do besides the disease? Her kimono, she couldn't tie it, right? Um, no, but uh, the, the, the photo girl taught her how to tie it. <laughs> I'm so bad with names, guys. This is like true in like every single anime ever. Um, but like a week after I like finished watching it or viewing it, like I, unless it's like, unless they say the name like two billion times, which is, you know, not too uncommon, like I'm just going to totally forget that name um, of like minor characters and stuff. That's not good. Um, but she couldn't tie her sash anymore. Mahiri, there you go. Well, that's very sad. Um, she didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, she took it really seriously. She learned how to tie her sash, and forgetting how to tie her sash would be like, would be like, disrespectful or something. That'd be sad. Um, she probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since Mahiri taught her. All right. Um, what did you say? What was it that got her killed inadvertently? Um, of course you can. That's why I can do it. Okay. How about you do it in some place? There's a mirror and there is a mirror in the back room. See, that's why we had to examine that mirror for no exit for like freaking no reason, even though it wasn't even a clue. But we had to do it before we could leave the room. So there you go. Um, oh, and you're just gonna tell us. Never mind. <laughs> Who even feels special for remembering stuff anymore? The game remember reminds you of everything you need to know. Um, also, shutting yourself in your room. <laughs> Why isn't there a mirror in this room, by the way? You'd think, there, you'd think that'd be true. <laughs> and shutting yourself would be uh, bad for your health inside this room? <laughs> this game is speaking to me. Uh-huh. Hiyoko, remember that? Are you saying that you went to the music venue to wear her kimono? Okay, um... If so, that's weird. Did you tell anyone? Did you tell anyone about that before the incident, or is someone listening on your conversation? Um, yeah, maybe she walked in while the killer was like doing the kitten. Uh, I again, I don't know exactly how this piece is together, but we'll find out shortly. How, yeah, maybe she could have died earlier and then like just got. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure things out, guys. How did the killer know Hiyoko was going to the music venue? <laughs> maybe she didn't. Um. Maybe that's why she tried to wipe up the blood, except, yeah, maybe she died like, uh, I don't know, she died like, obviously, the time of death was like way earlier than we think it is, so maybe that's why she kind of tried to cover up the blood. Um, but what else is here? Cameras and a bed. Okay, in the sink? Oh, okay, okay, I see, the mirror is shitty. <laughs> There's your answer. Um, oh well, no clue. And we are out of time, but what about the bed, guys? Holy shit. There must be something. <laughs> the must, the bed must be something important. Um. Okay, we're going to Monokuma Rock. We don't know everything. But that's fine, because it is already the time to go to that place again. Very, um. The only thing I can do is go. Awesome. Thank you. Let's get the show on the road. Oh, and it teleports us here, yay. And we're probably going to be going the roundabout way because, oh, no. That was the most efficient way, yay. Or maybe not. I think you'd have to go to, like, Island 2, then Island 1. Who, who cares? It's not something worth, um, in, like, thinking about it hard. Everyone who heard the announcement gathered in Monokuma Rock? Yeah, what about, uh, Nida? <laughs> Is he, uh, still, like, not dead? Um, you jerk, hold it right there. Uh... What is this? My brain works just fine? What did you do with Nekomari? Well, there you go. Sounds? Oh no. 
Since Nekamaru is unfortunately unlabeled today, let's just say he's absent. Alrighty then. <laughs> that solves that question. Um, there's no way Nekamaru is dead, he's just trying to piss us off. Of course he's not dead. Right, right, right. It's best if we worry about ourselves for now, so if something happens here, every one of us except Nekamaru will die. Ooh, that'd be funny. <laughs> the best day to bail class, wouldn't it be? Um, why are you so excited about that? Who knows, maybe I'm just looking forward to seeing po poetic justice prevail. Hot damn. Um, <laughs> obviously it seems like a Komaeda has everything in the wraps already because he is goddamn Komaeda. Too smart for this world. And it seems like he knows what's up. Um, now did we always have strong arm, the skill equipped yet, or did we get that somewhat recently? I feel like we did chapter 2 a strong arm, in which case I didn't notice the awesome effects of it. Um, <laughs> so maybe I overhyped that skill just a tad. I want to say we have new skills, maybe. No, because we haven't maxed any social links since uh, Owari. We're, we're on our way to maxing out Chiaki, but just not yet. And obviously, you know, um, Komaeda is a lost cause, sadly. Oh my god, this em this elevator seems so sadly, like, not crowded. <laughs> Look how little people there are. Uh, but nobody said a word. Okay. No, no word saying is being said, I see. Um, and when it descended, it finally stopped. <laughs> when it went as far as again, it finally stopped, okay. Light poured into the other room, and what is the theme this time? I will, ooh, dungeon E. It's kind of odd, actually. Um, it feels pretty toothless with all these empty seats. Indeed, it does. Well, two people got killed at the same time, and Nekamaru's not here. Oh my goodness. Um, why bother? <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, I guess he's a vote. Maybe, maybe, like, no. I can never see, like, there, there, there's never going to be a tiebreaker for a vote because we're not that incompetent, I don't think. We always vote for the right people. Um, I wonder who, like, guilty person who's clearly guilty votes for. Like, just like, shit, man, I'm so, I'm so clipped. Abluki, the ultimate position, she was really loud, but she was the mood maker of our group. And that chick. What are you going to say about her? Just from looking at her adorable face? You'll never know she was actually selfish and foul mouth. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, but she was trying to change herself and she was desperately trying to come to terms with my hero's death. I guess that is somewhat sad. The person who killed those two is among us. Oh man, look at all the people. There's those five. And you see a spoilery, spoilery tag, even more spoilery tag. I like how uh, he's just blacked out. Who knows about that yet. Um, the others are relevant. <laughs> Damn. Unless I figure out the truth, I won't be able to escape from this hell. Alrighty, then that's why I must find out, no matter what cost, for our sake, for our friend's sake, for Yoko and a someone, someone, some Buki's sake. <laughs> and, um, yeah, hope and despair. Okay, yeah, it's like the themes of this game. We definitely would like to save the first time I've saved in, what is this, 20, god damn it, it's been almost a solid, mo has that, is that really, two solid months, two solid months since I've last played this game. Obviously, I had such a long, um, backlog that it wasn't it wasn't two months since I've last uploaded but it's still been like almost an entire two months before um since I've last played this game so ooh of my apologies if I am somewhat rusty um so I have peach muscle rate of fire yes see I have that equipped and I don't think I own anything else no I don't we're gonna peach muscle this we could change the difficulty at the last second, but I ain't about that life. When I get wrecked, it will, I will be wrecked on the hardest difficulty. Let's relook at our truth bullets, see what we have. Um, there's the butt on the soles, that will be probably useful. A rope for hanging. There's no doubt this is the cause of Ibuki's death. Okay. Um, motel room key. Scrap of thick paper. The venue curtain that I can't see because my TV's contrast is pretty ass. <laughs> A step ladder. Thank you for clarifying. A candle. It looks dim. See, that candle is probably somewhere else. Um, the surveillance camera that got cracked. AC temperature. It was really high. That's right. The smudge on the floor. Cleaned up blood. Semi-transparent glob. That was the glue on the door. Mekon's account. What did Mekon say? 
Right up until the Monokuma announcement that morning, Mikan was with Hajime the whole time. Afterwards, she went to the hospital to check on everyone and realized that Ibuki had disappeared. When she rushed out of the hospital in search of Ibuki, she apparently met up with Fuihiko. And that corroborates Fuihiko's testimony. Um, the surveillance monitor account sees a person, but again, I don't, I don't, I, I, I believe this is actually the killer doing some crazy ass, uh, <laughs> fooled ya. Uh, I can't think of any words right now, but you know what I mean. They only separated for a short time. Sonya's account? What was Sonya's account? Sonya Hyoko was distressed because her kimono was disheveled and she was able to tie it on her own full length mirror. Okay. Monokuma's invitation ticket? What's the important aspect of that? It was says 4 a.m., I guess. Maybe that's important. Who knows? The invitation ticket. I think if it was important, they'd say it on the text. Um, and the date was passed out on the printed on the ticket. Monokuma's account? The tote bags, again, see there's two, two tote bags, right? Yeah, you get another tote bag when you purchase it. And the wizard Monami? And what were the three deaths? Um, Monami Scarecrow died from hanging herself, Monami Lion was pumped full of arrows, and Monami Tin Man was died by getting chopped into metal pieces. Okay then, I think that's all we need to know. Let's get this show on the road. I am ready for some more. I'm ready to sorry watchy gow some people. I haven't done that in months now, and I'm getting antsy. Okay, yes, wrong, whatever. Um, I don't mind starting the trial, but I really don't have a grasp of how the case played out. That's true, you know, because I was asleep the whole time, and whatever. Um, hey, 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 stop that. <laughs> um, I don't really get it either, because you were sick. Damn, shots are already fired. We haven't even fired any shots yet. Um... Listen up, the emptier your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside. Damn. Everything's so yellow right now. And both sides of a uh, Hajime are incredibly spoilerific, so that's sad. Um, we should proceed with the trial if those who too can participate in the arguments. That's true. Since, um, <laughs> since he's the first listener, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident? Are we going to be sorry watch gowing ourselves? Um... We split into the hotel team and the motel team because of the spare disease and everyone else was cowards. The uh, hotel team consisted of whatever and the infected. Um, spending the night in the hospital was prohibited so we had to go back to our colleges. Cottages. Mikan came to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from his symptoms. And after he confirmed his recovery, I made he Mikan rest in the on-call room since she hadn't slept all night while I waited in the hotel lobby. Exactly, she went upstairs. And then immediately afterwards, she saw the incoming signal. Um, when I pressed the button, what appeared on screen was that. The video of someone wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag in her head climbing the stepladder. Well, there you go. Um, and then what did you do, Hajime? I tried to stop them. I rushed to the hospital and ran to where this was being recorded. But it was too late. It already happened like a day ago. I'm calling it now. Um, I was already hanging from the ceiling. Well, there you go. So I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue and like unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. <laughs> more shots fired. Um, oh, I guess sick people are in fact not as well able-bodied. At least, that's what I thought, but the only person who came with milk. <laughs> Damn. But I remember feeling really a little relieved because not long after we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. Um, well, there, everyone in the hospital, so I sprinted to the hospital, I ran into Fukihiko, various ways. <laughs> of course, see, this is why we need lewd character. I mean, <laughs> we honestly could do without it, but why, why, come on. It adds the charm of this anime game. Um, so I immediately led to the music venue. And the door broke down, and there she was, her kimono sash, very neatly tied, might I add. I wonder if she did that herself, or... I don't know why she... I don't know why she... I don't know why the killer would actually, I don't know where I was going with that little train of logic. Um, we also found a Hiyoko, so not just that, her body was taped to a pillar. Damn, dude. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement, twice in a row. Um... Yeah, when we removed the hemp bag, we just as we feared it was a buki. Okay. Well, it's clear that the problem with this case is when Hajime left the venue, who 
Um, how do I know anything Hajime said is true? <laughs> Thank you, Nigito. You gotta make things fun. I'm sorry, I'm only being impartial right now. And the story I just heard is clearly suspicious. Hajime. <laughs> I fucking love this guy, man. <laughs> if you're the only one who saw the hanged video and the first one to discover Tabuki's body, then you could be lying as much as you want right now, right? Lie? Why would I lie? I'm the MC, man. Um, obviously, so you can make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. Do you doubt me? If you're not lying, then I would like you to prove it. Come on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. I love this motherfucker, man. It's just as Kazuichi says, Nagito's the kind of guy who will confuse us and not make matters worse. Nah, man, this is how you found the truth. Um... Let's go, boys. Or obviously I'm gonna be shooting down Nagito. Motel room key, think clock of surveil... <sighs> Evidence, man. Um... I believe... Oh shit. Whatever. Himan is clearly suspicious. If is his testimony is a lie, why would we corroborate that? And the fact that the Buki hung herself, um, that would also be a lie. I don't think I can deny to that possibility. Um, after all, Hajime is the only witness. Is Arby the only witness? Why would Hajime lie? Um, obviously because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? Um, ho, 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 hold the fucking phone. We did not see that movie. There we go. Ah, oh, man, this feels so good again. It's been so long. So long I forgot what the switch ammo button was. I think it's L1. Ah, oh, ah, oh, man, how do you, yes, that's how you do that. Ah, oh. finding, like, contradictions, man, finding contradictions. It just feels so good. Something about it, like, gameplay like this, it's just... Have I been losing time doing that? Is that how, that is how you, like, clear silence, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, okay. Um. Bam. Sorry, watch Gaza. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Need my fix, man. I'm not the killer. I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. Of course you're not. <laughs> I love you. Um, before the incident, Hajime had never watched that movie. His invitation ticket was the proof of that. <laughs> <laughs> what are we even doing? Um, each person will only receive one ticket and they're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. Isn't that right, Hanakuma? Yeah, no mistakes there, which means that there's no way Hajime, who never saw the movie, can commit murders that imitated it. Or did anyone tell them what happened to the movie? Of course not, no one did, right? <laughs> He's just flexing right now. He's hardcore flexing. Well, since we're opening your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. It also proves as a good warm-up. This is in fact a game, not to break the fourth wall or anything. I just think warming up is really important because, especially since this isn't a game, what a waste of time. Well damn, everything's so yellow man, I still can't get over that. Um, since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let's move on to the arguments. Um... Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Buki committed suicide. <laughs> er, um, then who killed Hyoko? The murder coincidentally occurring at the same place as the suicide. That ain't possible. No. It's pretty clear what the problem with this case is. The killer who murdered, murdered Hyoko while Hajime was gone. Who could have possibly done that? Um, how long would you say you were away from the music venue? More than 10 minutes? Not more than 10 minutes? Hot damn. Um, there's no way that's possible. By making the music venue a closed room. Um, that's right, she blocked it off, but then how would that even be possible? Um, the door is the only, yeah, I should be. Um, okay, you're absolutely right, which means when the door, when we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. Damn, yeah, that's the closed room case. Um, Sonia and Kazuichi, oh, damn, he's on the chase, the other, all the others have alibis, Chiaki Mikon and all those other people, yeah, um, the only people that leaves is you, um, you know, Nakamaru, <laughs> and Monokuma, obviously, um, um, okay, so if the killer was hiding inside the venue, we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. Okay, is that really it? We'll find out next time on Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Blind. Until then, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Let's look at our evidence, all this evidence. 
um, surveillance monitor, semi-transparent glob, motelki, who knows, man. We'll find out next time on Let's Play Danganronpa 2.0. Until then, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you enjoyed watching. Bye!